All right, today we're going to be learning how to um, percentages and figure out what we're going to be getting to eventually here is how to find discounts or taxes and tips and all that kind of stuff. Today we're going to learn a new way of kind of finding that part-whole relationship involving percentages and we're going to learn a little new way of solving it, which is actually pretty cool. So, uh, let's take a look at our very first example here. What are you eating? You've seen those government nutrition facts all the time, I'm sure. And so I've taken the one up here in the right-hand corner, and I've just copied it down here. Kind of hard to see up here, I understand that. But that's what I've taken. So if we need to look at the one up in the right-hand corner, these two, this one here, and this one here are just the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to start down here where the actual real question is right here. According to the sample label above, one serving of cheesy... Mac macaroni and cheese contains 20% of the recommended daily amount of calcium. I'll put that for you right here. If you can see it right there, calcium is 20%. Doctors recommend a person have a total of 1,300 milligrams of calcium each day. You'll notice it does not tell you how much calcium there is here, only that this is 20% of what you're expected to eat each day. So the question that we have to figure out is how many milligrams of calcium are in one serving of cheesy macaroni and cheese? So, let's see if we can pop this up here. Oh, come on there. Is it coming up for me? That's what I'm looking for. So today we're going to have kind of a part-whole relationship. This entire thing right here, you can see this little line that I drew across here with one end here and one end here, represents 100%. So let's put that up there. There's 100% right here. So this whole thing represents 100%. You'll notice that the part that they're talking about was that it was 20%. Calcium is 20%. I've highlighted it down here, but if that's too hard to see, you can also see it right up here. So that's 20% of the daily amount, which goes right here. It also tells us that a total of 1,300 milligrams of calcium each day are needed, which is our total. So 1,300 should be somewhere around here. I'm clicking around. There it is. 1,300 milligrams is what we need for the whole day. If you notice, this makes up a little bit of a proportion. For example, 1,300 milligrams over 100% would be equal to this number here, which we don't know, over 20%. So if we were to take x over 20 equals 1,300 over 100, we know that we can take and cross multiply 20 times 1,300 divided by 100 equals x. Or another way of saying that, 1,300 times 20 divided by 100 equals 260 milligrams. So we know that 20% of our calcium is 260 milligrams. We did that by solving for that. Now, what's in the big portion? How much more do we have to still eat for the day? Well, that should make sense. If we take the 100% minus the 20% that we got from the cheesy macaroni, 100 minus 20 is we need 80% for the rest of the day. How many milligrams would that be? Well, if you notice, again, this makes a nice little proportion with this, where x over 80 equals 1300 over 100. How do you solve the proportion? We cross multiply these two, so 80% times 1300, and then we divide by 100. When we do that, 1300 times 80 is 10,400 divided by 100 is 1,040. That's how much calcium we still need to eat for that day. If any of this didn't make sense, this is a good time to go back and rewind and watch it again to make sure you understand this portion. If you're right on board and you understand it, then we're going to continue moving on. This is kind of the same thing I just did. You can see where they're making up that line, and then the 1,300 and the 20%. I kind of showed that one. We're going to skip that one. We're still kind of showing how it made up the proportions or the ratios, which I already did that, so we're going to skip that page. Here again is showing that little diagram. Now here's one here where they're saying that one granola bar contains four grams of dietary fiber. 
So this granola bar represents four grams of dietary fiber. The label says that four grams is 16%. So down here, we should put in, did I put anything in here? I guess not. You should know what number goes here, what percent goes here. Then you know that the four grams over the 16% would equal the same as X over the 100%. Cross multiply, divide, and you should be able to come up with that. So what your job is going to be is to copy this diagram, answer this question for your, um, as part of the video notes here, answer this question. Fill in the 16% that goes here. Answer this part. Answer how many more grams you're still supposed to eat for the day and what percent that represents. Should not be too terribly difficult. So answer A through E on these. And then this one, which I think I did fill in some information for this one. One large carrot contains approximately six milligrams of vitamin C. So let's see if I can just pop that in right there. There it is, six milligrams. The daily intake is supposed to be 60. So if I can pop that right up there. So six milligrams, what, <coughs> excuse me, one carrot has. 60 milligrams, how much you're supposed to eat for the entire day. So your job is, let's think about this. Now, why did they, they said they divided this equally into 10 parts. What does six and 60, how does that divide into 10 parts? Think about it, wait for it. Yes, six goes into 60 10 times. Hopefully every one of you can answer that question. So then your job now is gonna be doing these here. So let's do this one together a little bit. So again, six over some number equals 60 over 100. So we've got two cross multiply six times 100, 600 divided by 60. If you were to do that correctly, you know that that would be 10%. This percent here should be extremely simple. 100% minus 10%, we can all do that I hope, would be 90%. But you can do it either the 100 minus 10% or you could have set this up as a proportion. Some number over 90, oh I'm sorry, if we knew that this was 54, how do we know this is 54 up here? Well, we know that that's 54, because 60 minus 6 equals 54. And then you'll notice once we knew that, we could do a proportion where we did 54 times 100 divided by 60 equals that number. I'm going to guess that close to 100% of you are going to do it the simple way of 100 minus 10% goes 90%. So, continue answering that question. Pause the video if you need to to answer the rest of those. Moving on. I want you to answer this question. If three parts are blue and 12 parts are red, first of all, how many total parts does that make? Answer that part. And then 12 represents what percentage of the 15? Oh, oops, I wasn't supposed to give that answer. And three represents what percentage of the total? Yeah, I'll make you think about that, even though I gave you a part of the answer. Answer this question. Make sure that's in your notes. Moving on. And if you can do this problem, try it. If not, then we'll keep working on this in class tomorrow. That's all I've got for you. Have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow.